Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to crop an image with a shape using Photoshop Elements. Um, and what I mean by that is let's say we have this heart image and we want to have a picture of our dog behind that and we want the picture itself to be in the shape of a heart. We don't want to have just a, you know, a dog inside this heart and then have a square background and that kind of thing. So there's a couple ways you could do that. So the first way we're going to do it involves using creating a clipping mask. So here's our heart and here's our dog. And so we want to put these together. So what we want to do first is we want to crop out our shape to where it's just the shape and everything else is transparent. So what we want to use for that is called the magic eraser tool. So if you click on erasers, you know, here's the default one you might be on. Just make sure you're on this one with the star here. And what we want to do is erase the uh, background. So if we were to use this, we would have to go through and, you know, kind of make sure we don't go over like that and that kind of thing. So, but if we use the magic eraser, what it will do, as long as you have clean lines, you click on that, it'll erase everything that's, in this case, white. And let's say we clicked in there, we have everything that's red, but we don't want to do that. Okay, so now we have this background erased. And so what we want to do next is we want to place our picture on top of our shape. So we want to go to File and Place, find our picture, and there we go. So we need to click on the arrow tool here to kind of, so we could drag the corners. We want to drag by the corners because if we start doing this, then we stretch it out. And we don't want that because it's going to look distorted. So drag here. It doesn't matter if it goes off the edge of the screen as long as your picture stays where you want in the side of the heart there. And we're you know get approximate location, then click OK because you'll be able to adjust it later. So now what we want to do is go to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. See, and what that does is since we erased this whole background, it created a clipping mask just around the leftover shape. So now we have our picture in the shape of the dog, and this background is transparent. So if you were to put this into another program, you know, paste it into a Word document or PowerPoint or a website, then this would be transparent in the background. You could actually stick this on top of other things and it would look just like a heart. And so once you have it in here, you could still, you know, move your picture around here. And then when you're done, just, you know, save it as whatever kind of image you like. And, and that's about it. Okay, so now for the other way, we have the same heart here. So what we're going to do is instead of getting rid of the background, we're going to get rid of the part that we want to have the picture in. So we want the dog inside the heart. So we're going to erase the inside of the heart here. And now we're going to paste our dog on top of that. And I'll show you what happens. So we got our dog picture open here. Take your select tool here. Just kind of draw a general area, what you want. Copy that. Go back here. Make sure you're on your arrow tool because you're going to want to move it around. Paste. And then we could just kind of, you know, still resize and get things the way we like it. And so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that our dog layer is, is in front of or below, I should say, our background heart layer. So we just click on that layer, drag it over. So the change position. And now we have it out here. And you can see it worked a little differently because we have, we still have the black border because we just erased the inside here. And this is not transparent anymore. This is still a white box, so that'll still be there. So once you have that where you want it, just click OK. And what you could do now is let's say, OK, I want this to be red. You can make sure we have red there. Use your paint bucket. Make sure you're on the right layer because you start doing this layer, you're going to fill in that, which we don't want. So we want to fill in this layer because this has the white background. And now you could do something like that. And now let's say you want to go back and make this transparent because you want to use it in some other program. You can still do the same thing, but there's a catch though, because if you do this, it's going to erase inside the picture. And if you click on the proper layer, thinking you're going to erase the white, see it's just going to erase the white, but it's going to leave the background image. So what you want to do first is Go to Layer and Flatten Image, Merge Visible, we'll do the same thing. So now this makes it one layer, one picture, and now you can go back, and there you go. So now you have the same thing, but this time you have the black line around it. So either way will work, either create a clipping mask or, you know, just erase the picture inside there and copy and paste your picture on top and just move it around and make sure you have the layers in the right position, then you should be good to go. 
All right, you might want to watch the video a couple times and just try it for yourself and see how it works for you. All right, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.